Hello guys, welcome to DFT Codeword YouTube channel. Today's video about the installation of quantum espresso with LibXC. Uh, before moving into this video, if you have not installed LibXC on your computer, you have to install it uh, before uh, going into the uh, detail uh, installation of quantum espresso. Uh, for the installation of LibXC, uh, you, you can uh, watch our previous video. The link of the video is in the description of this video. Uh, you simply go and check that video and install your uh, LibXE in your uh, computer. This video will mainly uh, uh, be comprises of two steps. First, we will configure uh, Quantum Espresso uh, a serial version. Then we will make you learn about its uh, parallel execution. So, for parallel execution, you have to install OpenMPI, and uh, for that. Uh, we will also provide you commands to make you able to install the open mpi for parallel execution of quantum espresso so before moving into this video you can download your quantum espresso uh, the latest version of 7.0 and also the libxe of quant of 7 uh, libxe of 6.0 so to download quantum espresso you just have to uh, simply go on to the google uh, just like that and you can write the uh, quantum espresso 7.0 github download github and you will you will have the link of uh, link to download quantum espresso as uh, releases you can also download it from your official account if you have uh, account and of official quantum espresso website you can download from these three links uh, we will simply download its release pack .tgz. and you can see that the downloads loading has been started and the path of download is uh, this download is downloads and you can find uh, to your uh, provided path simply you can see that quantum espresso release pack is this uh, folder and the next step is to move this quantum espresso uh, release pack.tgz to the folder in which we want to install our uh, quantum espresso for the current video we are going to install it in home directory so we are providing the path of home directory you can provide your path where, wherever you want to install your quantum espresso so by applying this command that is move uh, the quantum espresso uh, release pack will be moved to the provided directory and uh, simply applying enter you will see that the downloaded version of quantum espresso will be moved to the provided path so we have to go that particular path by applying change directory command home and uh, simply apply enter and we will be there yeah, just you can see that quantum espresso's release pack is uh, over there in, in red color so next step is to unzip this folder uh, by simply applying tar command you can also also extract this by simply right clicking on that after the uh, unzip you, you can simply have the folder of quantum espresso 7.0 and we will move to that folder that is cd quantum espresso 7.0 and all the tasks will be performed in that particular folder so list show and we will have the uh, green for green configure executable so uh, it is very very easy to uh, configure quantum espresso by simply applying dot backslash configure command but uh, there is there is no libxc so far and we just simply check that mpi or open mpi is installed or not or whether uh, this this is con configurable or not so applying dot backslash configure command you simply got the success message so quantum espresso is successfully configured but without libxe so far but parallel environment is detected successfully you can see that message uh, that is highlighted and uh, it is because we already have installed the uh, open mpi in our system if you don't have open mpi you can install it by applying the command uh, to get the parallel execution of quantum espresso so that you can use all the available cores of your computer for any quantum espresso job by simply applying this command 
you will be able to download the con open mpi and also the installation of M open mpi will be completed with all the necessary libraries of open mpi so we will check that by applying this command library of open mpi dash def you will see that the message will be appeared as uh, already available open mpi but in your case it will uh, not appear that message that parallel environment is successfully uh, detected if you don't have open mpi so by applying this command you will be able to um, check the uh, or download or installation of open mpi you will, your system will automatically uh, have that parallel environment so the next step is to uh, configure this with libxc the libxc is also the latest version that is 6.0 you can see that uh, how how the libxc is installed as i told you earlier just need to apply the configure command you can simply you can simply apply dot backslash configure with libxc you can uh, apply that option and with libxc and you have to apply prefix that is the library of uh, where you want to um, that is actually path of uh, uh, this, that particular location where you want to install the quantum espresso in the uh, sorry libxc so for current we are going to install it in root that is opt folder and you can see that the uh, libxc is, is as well as the quantum espresso is configured successfully with libxc you can see that the libraries of exchange and correlation functionals has been detected and the quantum espresso is successfully configured with the available libxc so libxc path is important and you have to provide it correctly so that the quantum espresso is is successfully configured you can get the uh, parallel environment detected message as well as the configure success message after uh, the correct path of libxc and yes so next step is to uh, get the uh, get the executables of quantum espresso for that you can see that so far there is no bin folder in quantum espresso 7.0 so bin folder will contain contain all the executable which are required to perform the quantum espresso calculations so for that you have to apply make all to get all the command all the executables uh, you can you can also make it one by one by simply applying make pw uh, command for that you will get the make so the uh, make all command is uh, completed successfully and you can see that now you have the bin folder in your quantum espresso which contains all the executables with dot x extension these are the executable of all the Fortran 90 programs of Quantum Espresso. So different executables are required to perform different tasks. So to check the success of installation, we will have to apply the uh, lib test and we are going to uh, apply a simple uh, test with a scan uh, to check whether our system uh, has the quantum espresso installation with libxc or not we simply move into lib test and we will apply command time mpi run minus np that is parallel execution how many number of ports we are going to use we are going to use eight number of ports and the path of bin folder so that is uh, the quantum espresso bin we are going to use pw.x for scf calculations of this uh, simple simple material who's not alive with having cubic structure so scf dot scf underscore scan dot out you have error message due to the pseudo potential files we have to keep the pseudo potential file 
our pseudo potential path correctly after correcting it we are running it again and the scan calculations are running uh, successfully so it will take two to three minutes to run these calculations with scan scan is actually a meta gg functional uh, if you don't have libxc you would not be able to run uh, scan calculations so scan calculations are running at the moment uh, you can also check the uh, installation of quantum espresso if you are going to configure it without libxc by simply uh, simply applying the input dft as pbe that is pbgga or any other method lda or pbe soul so for these calculations you don't require the libxc uh, configuration of quantum espresso so scan calculations are running and uh, you will be able to see the uh, results of this calculation in a couple of minutes time so we are waiting to we are waiting for the completion of this job meanwhile you can see that it is taking a bit time so we can we can check that so quantum so, so the scan calculation of a simple user of lie is completed we can simply open its output file in vim editor you can use your own preferred editor you can see that the version of quantum espresso is 7.0 in the very first line so moving downward you can see that this is scan is detected your exchange and correlation function is scan and that by going at the end you can see the job done message so it means your job is completed successfully you can see that the the fermi energy of your system so as the total energy uh, here so your your scan calculation is completed successfully so from here on you can see that your configuration of quantum espresso is uh, successfully completed with libxc uh, the, even the latest uh, latest version of libxc so we are going to repeat it first you have to download quantum espresso on from the given given site you can simply download its required version or you are your desired version and then the next step is to move that uh, version to the desired location where you want to install your quantum espresso so you you, you should provide your path right there and the next step is to uh, unzip move that into that particular folder and unzip the by applying this command and by going into the folder of quantum espresso uh, the important thing is about uh, the libxc if you don't have installed the libxc you can simply install by checking our previous video and the path of libxc is important for configuration of quantum espresso you should provide the path correct correctly so that you would be able to use it for your calculation so you can check the installation of libxc and uh, at the end you have to uh, apply make all command to get all the executable so after getting all the executable in bin folder within quantum espresso 7.0 you are able to uh, test your calculations and just i did in, in the libxc folder and another important thing is uh, uh, that you should always perform your calculation uh, in a separate folder uh, you can just create a new folder within home directory just like jobs um, so that your main quantum espresso folder is protected so that is very important that you should always perform your calculation for, uh, outside this quantum espresso folder uh, i hope you have enjoyed this video and this video is, um, has made you learn about the installation of quantum espresso with libxc uh, your all queries are welcome you can uh, comment us you can write an email to us for any kind of query thank you for watching take care